So now we are going to discuss about the another property in refraction is a critical angle and a total internal reflection. Refraction takes place in the critical angle also. Critical angle, what is meant by the critical angle? First of all, we should know that when we know that already when the light is traveling from one medium to the another medium, the light will be refracted whenever the mediums are two or both are in contact means uh, if the they are in transparent. Then here the denser medium has taken and the rarer medium has taken air, denser medium will the water. Here when the light is uh, moving perpendicular means uh, light is uh, taken normal whenever incident from this, this point whenever normal incident on the interface water air interface then uh, it will do not refract as it is uh, it will move into the same original path. When the light is moving from the denser medium to the rarer medium the light refracted and moves away from the normal with making refracted angle R means when the light ray is moving from the denser medium to the rarer medium the light bends away from the normal away from the normal means moves refracted away from the normal so here it is this is normal and it is moving away from the normal that is we know that already this i means incident angle and r means refracted angle the light total light do not refracted some of the light partially reflected also into the same medium some of the light partially reflected some of the light partially reflected into the same medium also which can be negligible almost all which can be negligible and uh, further increment of the incident angle further increase of the incident angle where the light is moving away from the normal by increasing of the incident angle in the denser medium the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is also increases we know that all so when we further increment of the incident angle the light ray passes on the water air interface surface with making refracted angle is a 90 degrees means r is equal to 90 degrees here when the light incident angle increasing then refracted angle is also increases so that here by increasing the incident angle where the angle of refraction becomes a 90 degrees is called a critical angle the angle of incidence where it becomes the angle of refraction is 90 degrees is called critical angle that is denoted with a IC that is denoted with a IC means a further increment of the incident angle the light traveled on the sur water air sur interface surface on the surface which is the angle of refraction becomes a 90 degrees with the normal this is the normal and it's the nice the angle of incidence critical angle definition is the angle of incidence which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees is called critical angle means the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction becomes a 90 degrees is called a critical angle means that is denoted with a i suffix c that is a critical angle further increment of means a here is also further increment of the critical angle means more than the critical angle means ic is equal to 90 degrees further increment of the critical angle incident the angle of incidence more than the critical angle the light do not refracted into the another medium do not move into the another medium but the light moves into the same medium means reflected into the same medium further increment of the critical angle means when the light is incident on the water air enter surface where the refraction angle becomes 90 degrees is called a critical angle more than the critical angle of ic means incident angle of incidence by increased means here the ic here i means i is more than ic here i is more than ic then uh, the angle will the light uh, do not refract into the other medium but the light uh, totally moved into the same medium means uh, reflected into the same medium is called a uh, total internal reflection that is tir once again where the light uh, of incidence 
on the water air surface interface medium incidence more than the critical angle the light uh, traveled into the same medium that is denser medium traveled into the same denser medium then the totally reflected into the same medium is called a total internal reflection here we have discussed about that whenever the light is incident on the some of the surface transparent surface the total light do not refract some of the light is reflected this is inter internally the light is backed into the same medium that partially light back into the medium is also called internal reflection internal reflection not total internal reflection it is internal reflection by increasing the incident angle the light is traveling on the surface of the water or air interface then that will be the where the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees that is called as incident angle incident angle is called as a critical angle and a further increment of the incident angle more than critical angle the light total travel into reflected into the same denser medium that is called that phenomenon is called a total internal reflection means here it is that the phenomenon of complete reflection complete reflection of light back into the same medium for angle of incidence for angle of incidence greater than the critical angle greater than the critical angle means uh, when the light the phenomenon of uh, light total reflection the phenomenon of uh, complete reflection means uh, the whatever the light is incident on the interface then it is totally reflected into the same medium that means the phenomenon of complete reflection of light back into the same medium for back into the same medium for the angle of incidence is greater than in critical angle angle of incidence is greater than critical angle is called a total internal reflection this total internal reflection depends on two conditions two conditions that means here the when the light is traveling from must be travel from the denser medium to the rarer light must travel from light uh, must travel travel from denser denser medium means optical denser medium and uh, the incident of light must be greater than the critical angle the light uh, the incident light uh, incident angle of uh, light ray light ray must be must be greater than greater than must be greater than critical angle critical angle so here that is critical angle is ic means uh, here it must be incident of angle must be greater than critical angle this is the two conditions where the total internal reflection is applicable then if in case of sometimes total internal reflection is also which is not possible because of whenever we take the glass water then how much the light is transparent plate so that's why that is moved into the another medium means air water glass is there so whenever the critical more than the critical angle will happen also there is always two similar some of the reflected partially reflected and partially refracted so here it is that in case of the glass water that can be not possible in many ways once again the what a critical angle definition means the angle of incidence the angle of incidence the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction becomes a 90 degrees is called a critical angle means the angle of incidence which becomes for the angle of refraction becomes a 90 degrees is called as a critical angle then total internal reflection phenomenon also we can write that when the incident of light when the incident of light ray angle of incidence is more the angle of incidence more than the critical angle the light ray is travel into the same medium that phenomenon is called a total internal reflection that can also we can write when the angle of incidence the angle of incidence of a light ray is more than the critical angle then light total light uh, 
reflected into the same medium is called that phenomenon is called a total internal reflection here also we read that the phenomenon of complete reflection of light back into the same medium for which the angle of incidence is more than critical angle greater than critical angle is called as a total internal reflection also the total internal reflection will take place whenever if, if it is not uh, based on the two conditions means uh, the light must travel from the denser medium to the another rarer medium denser medium to the rarer medium only and uh, here is also the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle must be greater than the critical angle which is not applicable for whenever the the light ray is moving from one denser to the another optical denser medium optical denser medium means uh, here from the light is for example light is traveling from the air to the water air to the water or water to glass that will not applicable always we can obtain the refraction refractor can be obtained from that relation so here it is that when the light is uh, traveling from the denser medium to the rarer medium by increasing the angle of incidence uh, angle of refraction also increases so that's why for the angle of refraction 90 degrees at that uh, angle of incidence is called as a critical angle further increment of the angle of incidence where the more than the critical angle then uh, the total light refracted reflected into the same medium that is called phenomenon is called as total internal reflection when the angle must be more than the critical angle and uh, the light ray must travel from the denser medium to the rather uh, rarer medium only so this is about a uh, total internal reflection and a critical angle then we know like the applications of the total internal reflection we will study later now in the next videos and another thing is the note next we are going to discuss about that the relation between the critical angle and the refractive so the relation between the critical angle and the refractive index relation between critical angle and a refractive index refractive index that is mu and a critical angle means i suffix c here when the light is traveling from the denser medium and incident on the water air surface interface and uh, the light is uh, moving parallel to the water air interface and uh, the ref angle of refraction will be 90 degrees so here it is that we can write that angle of incidence uh, angle of uh, incidence uh, i is equal to ic next angle of refraction angle of uh, refraction angle of refraction r is equal to 90 degrees so from that we can write that according to the applying snell's law from snell's law snell's law we can write that the refractive index of the medium the refractive index of the medium to means here the refractive index of the denser medium to the refractive index of the mu to 1 is equal to sine i by sin r that means sin i is equal to we know that i c means uh, critical angle so sin i c by sin uh, the reflected angle will be 90 degrees so the, we are writing that here mu 2 1 is equal to sin i c by 1 so from that relation we can write that sin i c is equal to is equal to mu 2 1 means uh, mu 2 by mu 1 here it is that we can write that for the relation for the relation we know that the refractive index of the the large refractive index of the or uh, the larger refractive index then the critical angle will be smaller here that whenever it is that it is equal to the refractive index which is we know that mu 2 1 means uh, the refractive index of the denser medium here the we are taking the this is the rarer medium it is will be the, the rarer medium denser medium so here it is that we are writing that from the relation so here the 
sin ic is equal to mu t1 that is equal to mu t1 means uh, the refractive index of the second medium with respect to first one means here the second medium is the second one is the rarer medium and uh, this one is the denser medium so here it is the the refractive index of the rarer medium with respect to the denser medium the reciprocal of the refractive index of the denser medium with respect to rarer medium also so that's why here writing that whenever mu21 is equal to 1 by mu12 then we can write the same as here the mu12 is equal to 1 by mu is 12 is equal to 1 by mu21 so from that but we know that mu21 is equal to sin ic means mu12 is equal to 1 by sin ic also we can write that means here when the larger refractive index uh, the critical angle will be smaller so here it is that some of the elements which are uh, having that critical angle and refractive index the transparent media that is diamond like that then we have some of the values is there for water for water for water refractive index is uh, 1.33 and uh, as also crown glass crown glass will be that 1.52 crown glass 1.52 and as well as these are the refractive indexes of the materials crown glass and also the diamond which is having the 2.42 diamond 2.42 refractive index is it this is the material so as well as a diamond crown glass water and also denser flint glass also having that denser flint glass you have 1.62 1.62 of refractive index are there then again we can write that the total values for the critical angles is also there so larger the larger the refractive index of the material medium sir then the its critical angle will be less from the relation already we generated now that is a sin ic is equal to sin ic is equal to 1 by mu 1 to here the sin ic means the critical angle sin of the critical angle is more than the refractive index of the less if in case of refractive index of the material medium is less then the critical angle is will be lesser so that's why and also critical angle is depends on the material nature of the material of the pair media whatever the media is connecting that pair media is there that is also critical angle also depend on the metal some of the transparent materials which are which are having the refractive index and the critical angle of that materials that is a water water is having that 1.33 of the water is having 1.33 its refractive index and uh, its a uh, the uh, critical angle will be 48.75 degrees 48.75 degrees with a critical angle of the water and a uh, crown glass crown glass means uh, 1.5 is the refractive index and 41.14 uh, degrees is the critical angle and a uh, flint glass denser flint glass here is that denser flint glass denser flint glass having that 1.62 its refractive index and 37.41 degrees will be the its critical angle and uh, here the diamond having 2.42 of uh, its refractive index and critical angle will be 24.41 if you measure if you uh, compare this one total the refractive index of 1.33 is uh, less than its uh, critical angle is more by increasing of the refractive index of the these materials 1.52 means uh, the critical angle will be decreased and uh, if in case of refractive index is major, more increases 1.6 to 1.52 to 1.62 then uh, the critical angle will reduces to reduce to 141 to 37 and also when the refractive index is larger means 2.42 is larger then uh, the critical angle is uh, less at uh, 24.41 means uh, with this is goes on decreased uh, this is goes on decreased uh, whenever it is uh, increasing it is a uh, increasing so here is that whenever the larger refractive index uh, this critical angle will be less this is about a uh, critical angle uh, and total internal reflection and a uh, relation between the critical angle and refractive index next uh, we are going to the technical applications of the total internal reflection